guys, it's November 23rd. We are down. We are in a swamp. Now, yesterday, a big buck was seen coming in here with a bunch of does. The way it's been going is once they get in here, they stay in here for two or three days. They come out, there's some, there's a field up here, there's a field over here, and this is a big funnel that cuts through, and they get into the stick stuff, and they just stay in here for a day or two. So what I'm going to attempt to do is i got to work up in here and find his track, and then we're going to follow it and see where he goes. He should still be in here. It's a big eight. He might have been 200 to begin of the season, but he's been working pretty hard. So we're looking at probably 180 for weight. But at this point in time, I'd expect that. This is a deer we call Spectre. He's kind of got these really cool antlers that sweep forward. Really 19 inches wide anyways. Probably eight, ten inch tines on him. He's a really nice buck. He's a five year old, I believe, so. We're gonna get in here and see if we can pick him up. We're down a little low right now. He should be up a little bit higher and then kinda in a little sway. There's a bunch of softwood back in there. That's where I'm expecting him. I could be wrong. We might catch him coming out of here. I don't know. Maybe these does that are in here are all bred. I don't know. He may not even be in here. We might follow his track and he might swing right back the way I just came. So, and if so, we'll get on that track and we will stay on that track until the end of the day. So, at this point, let's get in here and see if we can find him. It's a pretty cool spot right here. I just, uh, you see that right there? That's an otter slide. Otters came through here and they, they hop along and then they get to a little spot where they can, they'll slide on their belly. You can see he went right through here a couple of times. He's just heading down the brook here. Just kind of some of the cool stuff you see while you're out here. Just kind of makes you smile looking at stuff like that and saying, boy, these things are, they're having a lot more fun than we are when we're in the woods. So, all right, we found his track where he came in yesterday. He's been coming in here quite a bit because I got a set of tracks from a day or two ago coming in too. He was walking right on him. It was really tough at first because I thought, when I, my first glance, I thought it was an old track. And then I walked a few feet and I saw what looked like a clear track in it. Well, right here, they just split. That's the old track there. This is the new track from yesterday. That's a big foot. That's a big foot. <laughs> And he's heading that way, so we're going to mosey along this track. It's going to be tough for a few minutes here because there's no snow out here. Most of this cut, it doesn't have any snow in it. So now he's probably going to go up in where the does have been bedding back here, but there's always a possibility that he's circled back and he's bedded out in the cut too. So we're going to have to really pay attention to tracks. All right, we're still following. Got the track right here. It's mixed in with a whole bunch of other deer now, so. This track was from yesterday, so it's really hard to pick up. So I'm just following along. <clears throat> I get a feeling they're bedded back in here someplace. There's three or four different deer in here. This way to where most of the tracks were. And I just came across this over up here. It's 
It's got some uh, gouges in it, pretty good ones. They're way up here too, almost chest high on me, so it's a pretty good buck. <coughs> so the wind is coming from my right, from the northwest. So I can work this place back and forth as long as the deer aren't out in the pasture out there. So, which they're not. So we're just gonna ease our way. Back through here, but it would seem most of the sign is heading. Looks like they went in and then they went to the back of this. It looks like they went in and went to the back of this. There's another field down here. Looks like they were out there and then the, the buck decided to chase them back in, but he turned and came back this way. He didn't he didn't go with them. At least he didn't go with the little ones. So I'm thinking that they're back in this piece here as you can see a lot of softwood back in here and it's pretty thick in there so we're gonna just kind of ease our way back to the cut and what I might do is depending on what time I get to the cut you just may hang out in that cut for the evening and have the wind in our in our favor for it anyways and see if they come out they had been swinging around and coming out in that cut. They'll either come out in that cut or the slower field, but it's a gamble either way. I can't be every place. We know he's back in here. He's chasing these does around. So who knows, maybe he'll get sick of chasing them and head out, or we may jump him back here. melting so fast. I'm just following this track now. We're talking it's probably a couple hours old but he could be back here bedded so we're going really easy through here. He's just kind of going in circle. The wind's kind of funky. It's kind of swirling a little bit, which I don't like, but we'll just keep following the track. If we jump him up, we'll just keep following the track even more. This is how I know it's a buck. He's not following a trail. He's just... Staying under cover here, going through these swamps. There's a doe trail up here that would be a lot easier for him to use, but he's not doing it. He's staying in the stick stuff. It's going to be hard for me to smell him too, the way the wind's blowing. It's going back and forth to my crosswinding. He's crosswinding back, so. Here we go. As you can see, we are stationary right now. I tracked that deer as far as I could until we ran out of snow. Got in the pines and there's tons of tracks. And they all look like they were just made, so. What we're doing is, if you can see out here, there's a big cut out in front of me. Right on this brake line. There's an old farm road that goes right right down through here. This scrapes all up and down it. I got a scrape right out here in front of me. There's a trail that goes up right here that's really been abused. Some more trails back that way coming out. I got a good wind coming this way.
The 2022 deer season has been the most difficult in recent memory for me. Warm temps for the first half kept the deer movement to a minimum, and when there was movement, it was well before or well after shooting light. A lack of a mass crop had the deer spread out a lot more, and any concentrations were around young cuts or green fields. What snow we got was as loud as artillery fire, and when it melted, it left the ground high and dry. But somehow, I did manage to see a bunch of deer this season. I also got out with some of the guys, Nick, James, Phil, and of course Dylan and Tristan. We had a lot of fun. We put our time in, and without my help, most everybody has venison in their freezer this year. But for me, I felt like somehow I was two steps behind the bucks all season. And seemingly, the season was just dwindling away before my eyes. Now the 28th of November dawned as just another day closer to an unfilled tag to me. I was supposed to return to work, but I went out before first light and I had an opportunity to take an eight point feeding in a small field. But as he was a two and a half or three year old, I passed him. Even though it was clear that this could be my very last chance at a buck this year, he fell short of my own personal standard. Little did I know that things were about to change. Back in September, two really nice bucks started to show up on my cameras. Both I had pictures and sheds from from the previous season. One in particular, a huge bodied five and a half year old eight point with a great spread and unbelievable mass named Spectre really caught my attention. He resembled Oddjob and I knew with his build he could be, really be another contender for the 200 pound patch. He was my obvious focus on that property. The other buck on that property was a really nice tall 10 point. He was younger, maybe four and a half, but he was built heavy, 190 pounds in the early season. I hadn't named him yet. But fate intervened. And at about 11 o'clock, I got a tip that two big bucks were chasing does in a cut off a tote road. My lunchtime would find me grabbing Betsy out of the truck, grabbing my coat, and investigating said report. It would be my first and last encounter with high noon. All right, guys, it's been a tough season, really tough. I've seen no big bucks all season except for one that I could have shot running across a clear cut, but I really didn't feel confident I could actually hit it, so not at that speed. Um, I've passed 11 deer, including one this morning that was a small eight that was actually kind of, he's a really cool looking buck, but he's too small, so we let him go. Um, and what happened was somebody had seen these bucks chasing through here and it's lunchtime, so I decided I would come out and walk through here. And lo and behold, I got out here in about 15 feet, and the deer blew up. And I had a doe run this way. I had a doe come out over here. She walks across, and then he just comes across. It was split second, really fast. Bang. It was a bigger one with him, um, according to the person who see him chasing. But... Uh, they came down this little road right here and I let him run down the road a little bit because I was hoping that bigger one was going to come out but then I got looking at this one and all I saw was horns so I shot and he's here he's on the ground so it's not a great story it's a great buck though <laughs> and sometimes that's how it happens I have this buck on camera a ton I have tracked this buck three times and not got him um, I've tracked a bigger buck three times and not got him. We've had terrible snow conditions. So, anyways, that's the story, which isn't much of a story, but it's a great buck. So, I hope everybody else had a good season, and I hope that the uh, if you, if you haven't got one yet, you got one more weekend and you can get one. So, looking at him, he's not going to go two. He may go 150, maybe 160. Who knows? He's got a lot of big shoulder on him not a bad butt. I mean, he may be bigger than I think. But the quest for 200 continues again next year. So 
I thought we were going to have to name next year the Road to Redemption because I thought I was going without one this year. So this is pretty great. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, I've got this buck's sheds from last year. It's a great buck. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. And by golly, we finally got one.